Hello, welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at the thermodynamic cycle of a gas turbine engine. An ideal gas turbine engine follows the Brayton cycle. The Brayton cycle describes the behavior of air as a working fluid in the engine. Before we look at how the Brayton cycle is applicable for the gas turbine engine, we need to look at the different processes involved in the Brayton cycle. Isentropic process. This is defined as the process where the entropy of a system remains constant. Entropy is defined as the degree of randomness or disorder in the system. Isobaric process. This is a thermodynamic process that occurs at a constant pressure. Adiabatic process. This is a process where there is no heat exchange between the system and its surroundings. Let's see how these processes of the Brayton cycle are applicable in a gas turbine engine. Let's consider an aircraft in flight with an ideal gas turbine engine. This is the inlet section of the engine. The inlet section of the engine expands, which means the cross-sectional area increases. Here, the speed of the incoming air decreases. This decrease in speed increases the static pressure of the air. This is an isentropic process. The air now enters the compressor section of the engine. Here, the pressure and temperature of the air increase. This is also an isentropic process. The compressed air enters the combustion chamber. Here, fuel nozzles mix fuel with the incoming air, and this fuel air mixture is burnt in the combustion chamber. This is an isobaric process or happens under constant pressure. The hot gas is passed through the turbine stages where the air causes the turbine to rotate. The turbine is connected to the compressor on the same shaft. So the turbine rotates the compressor. This is an isentropic and an adiabatic process. The gases undergo some expansion in the turbine stages where the pressure decreases along with the temperature. The gases then flow through the nozzle. The nozzle's cross-sectional area decreases as we go downstream. This results in an increase in velocity and a decrease in pressure and temperature. This is also an isentropic and an adiabatic process. On an ideal gas turbine engine, the air at the engine exit should return to its initial free stream conditions. This completes the cycle. Brayton cycle, TS and PV diagrams. The TS diagram is a graph between temperature and entropy. This point represents the initial free stream condition of the air. The airflow in the inlet and the compressor is an isentropic process. In the combustion chamber, the temperature and the entropy increase. The expansion in the turbine and nozzle sections of the engine is again an isentropic process. After exiting the nozzle, the air returns to its initial conditions, closing the cycle. The area under the TS diagram is the useful work and thrust generated by the engine. The PV diagram is a graph between pressure and volume. This is the initial condition of the air. The isentropic compression in the inlet and compressor section causes an increase in the pressure and decrease in the volume. The combustion is isobaric, 
meaning the combustion happens at constant pressure. The expansion process in the turbine and nozzle causes a decrease in the pressure and increase in the volume of the air. This is an adiabatic process. At the exit, the air returns to its original condition, closing the cycle. That's all from my video on the thermodynamic cycle of a gas turbine engine. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.